Some years later, God decided to test Abraham. So he spoke to him. Abraham answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said, Go get Isaac, your only son, the one you dearly love. Take him to the land of Moriah, and I will show you a mountain where you must sacrifice him to me on the fires of an altar. So Abraham got up early the next morning and chopped wood for the fire. He put a saddle on his donkey and left with Isaac and two servants for the place where God had told him to go. Three days later, Abraham looked off in the distance and saw the place. He told his servants, Stay here with the donkey while my son and I go over there to worship. We will come back. Abraham put the wood on Isaac's shoulder, but he carried the hot coals and the knife. As the two of them walked along, Isaac said, Father, we have the coals and the wood, but where is the lamb for the sacrifice? My son, Abraham answered, God will provide the lamb. The two of them walked on, and when they had reached the place that God had told him about, Abraham built an altar and placed the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son and put him on the wood. He then took the knife and got ready to kill his son. But the Lord's angel shouted from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Don't hurt the boy or harm him in any way, the angel said. Now I know that you truly obey God because you were willing to offer him your only son. Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in the bushes. So he took the ram and sacrificed it in place of his son. Abraham named that place, the Lord will provide. And even now people say, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. The Lord's angel called out from heaven a second time. You were willing to offer the Lord your only son. And so he makes you this solemn promise. I will bless you and give you such a large family that someday your descendants will be more numerous than the stars in the sky or the grains of sand along the beach. They will defeat their enemies and take over the cities where their enemies live. You have obeyed me, and so you and your descendants will be a blessing to all nations on earth. Stories of the Bible, Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector and very rich. Tax collectors were hated because many people thought they were liars and cheaters. Boo. <laughs> Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day, Jesus was passing through Jericho. What's going on? Jesus is here, woohoo! Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. Hey, excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. But he was too short to see above the crowd. Oh, that's it. So he ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed to a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Oh, hey there, friend. Who, me? Yeah, you. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Oh, all right. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Ugh. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I will give half my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. Come and see the baptism of Jesus. 
This is Jesus, hey who's the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. This is John the Baptist. Hey! John loved God with his whole heart. Hey, all you! And he told everyone that the Savior of the world was coming soon. Wow! Come on! John baptized people in the Jordan River. And one day, Jesus went to this river to be baptized by John. Hold on. But John tried to talk him out of it. Jesus said, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. Eh, okay. So John baptized Jesus. And as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened and John saw the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove and resting on Jesus. A voice from heaven said, this is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. And John knew, without any doubt, that this was the one they had all been waiting for. This was the chosen one of God who would take away the sin of the world.